Mostre e morta. with the left punch there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Boy, tie plus. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh, collar tie. Strong punch there by Liz. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Take it for a ride. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity, you feel good for him to finally get it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Both fighters get up now. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. That is a thudding leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big leg kick land. He is all about that left kick to the body. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Until he blocks it, you better keep rolling and fight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus and is the point. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant. Oh! All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Great punch landed with so much power. Goes back to that left kick once again. Right hand punch with the clinch. Good volume of knees here by Lee. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Head kick partially blocked. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Head kick. Nice. Checks the leg kick. Nice one, two there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Left hand punch with the clinch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Landed with the elbow there. Single collar tie now. Ooh, what a head kick. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Just misses there with the left. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Head kick lands. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Got clipped with the right hand. Leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Big head kick lands. He blocks the punch. Nice punch land. And there's a takedown attempt. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clutch. Now connects to the right. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Right hand punch with the clinch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And they separate. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Boy, Ty Plum. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. 
Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing you do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Nice loop and punch. <laughs> Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men. Stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Good stick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, Cowers with an overhand left. He stuck that one. Tie. Big knee lands to the body. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Oh, what a punch. Well placed knee to the body. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Whiffs on that offering. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Elbow from the clinch lands. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Battling for hooks. Beautiful takedown land. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off. Move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advantage. If you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, it looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard. 
in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Big head kick lands. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. All right, single collar tie now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Take down here, he gets it. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Close guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture at which he's throwing these ground strikes. Hey, it's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, what a round it was. A lot of high-level knee striking there. Take us through the replays, if you would. Just finding his spot. Taking advantage of every opportunity presented to him. Not really having an idea of what he wants to do, just kind of flowing. And what showed itself was those knees. So he took them every time. Let's get this together now. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Able to check the high kick. Nice, sneaky head kick. He's back to the spot, clinch position. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, got him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he still stands. And they separate. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Punch over the top. Back and forth we go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. How good is that right hand? Real sneaky body kick. Hands Just over three minutes to go. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. 
good punch lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful body kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. A oh, little single collar tie there. He gets to his spot, the tie clean. Then he starts to let the knees block. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Again, they clinch. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Dig and kick. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Beautiful body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, collar tie. Big kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with that left hook. He lands a big knee to the body. Beautiful punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. 30 seconds left. Oh, big head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Switching stances here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Punch to the body is blocked. That's a big strike right there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Both guys have absorbed a lot of punishment here tonight. Exciting fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Fifth and final round. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Single collar tie now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand. And, you and there's the double leg takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound him. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hip, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Left hand punch the clinch. Lee gets hit with that elbow. You don't want to take too many more of those. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. What a body kick. 
All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent's Right head. at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting him. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. I mean, he's cutting down the side. Kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Hey. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Got the single collar tie. Lands with the right hand. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Big body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Lee gets caught with that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. A little single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside and try to find space. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more with that game. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, so once again, the champion takes all the best shots from the number one contender. It goes the full 25-minute distance tonight. I think the champion might have just eked it out. Just eked it out. I mean, this was as close as a close championship fight comes. He got pushed at every level of this fight. He got pushed at every moment of this fight, but I believe he got it done. I believe he will keep his championship. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Assassin. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lee. And Judge three scores it, 47 for the winner by split decision. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so another one bites the dust, another challenger.